remember like i remember this i can't remember the exact uh, where i saw it like when you make like bar bar charts and everything like mm. you should you don't have to start from zero right like that's, uh, that's uh, you know, <laughs> that yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so you just you just you just you know scale it up to the very top to say okay it's you you, you exaggerate it but yeah, it's only yeah. like a few units that have increased but uh, <laughs> just to wait Okay, uh hello everyone. We are back with our uh, consecutive second episode. It's the second season. Uh, <laughs> second season. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you thought it was 2.53. We yeah. forgot that we only did like yeah. 1 and 1.5, but yeah. Yeah. So it's the second season and the second episode uh, and uh, today we have some interesting topics. So Chandra, maybe you can uh maybe go with a brief of the first few topics that we're going to talk about uh, and we can get on. Yeah, so I mean we th- we thought of talking about the big thing in not in tech but you know the big thing that happened this week was the moon landing India mm. going to the south pole of the moon. Yeah. Um and we wanted to talk about a few things again apple related sorry about that guys i think the android uh, <laughs> fan fan boys and girls will be mad at us uh but yeah so we guess to talk about few few things that came up uh, in leaks and stuff so and mm-hmm. also to end hopefully i think nilanka has uh something to talk about uh use regulation on services um mm-hmm. sort of apps online services, things, yeah. online services yeah. sorry Yeah. Um uh so yeah we can let's see let's see if we have time we can cover all of that yeah 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 so, so the moon landing it just happened right it was like so yeah I'm like uh, like okay uh, uh, okay there just got the news india landed on the moon i'm like uh, okay i wasn't really following the news unfortunately yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah i mean it's good they've uh, so i've i saw all these memes that said you know the the moon landing cost like 75 million dollars mm, mm, but mm. like moon is like the martian and you know all of that cost like 120 million or something yeah, like yeah. i can't remember the exact numbers but mm, yeah mm. so <laughs> apparently they've done it much cheaper Mm, um mm, mm. just for context right so i don't know that this is a bit of a controversial thing to say but uh sri lanka sent a spacecraft not to the moon somewhere i don't know where it is that <laughs> had taken about 300 million usd so yeah, yeah. i'm going to think about it just something to think about. <laughs> yeah this is how this is how uh countries with a lot of Uh, talented politicians, but there's a yeah. lot of uh, good investments going nowhere. Good investments, definitely. Yeah. yeah. So, so I think I think it probably went to the moon. We just we just didn't want to yeah, talk yeah, about yeah. it. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's start. They probably have a flag somewhere, and they don't want to. You know, yeah. maybe it's like Area 51. They don't want to tell people yeah, about it. So definitely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. Getting 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 back on topic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, So I mean it's 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 I mean it's great what they did right so with I think mm-hmm. the first uh, so just to just to give a, give you some context guys so they so this is Chandrayaan 3 right so Chandrayaan 2 mm-hmm. failed the mission mm-hmm. failed uh, uh, I can't remember which stage it failed it, but it it was a failure the mission was a failure mm-hmm. um uh, this same week Russia tried to do the same thing uh to land i wasn't i'm not sure whether it's the south pole per se but it, they were trying to land uh, a craft mm-hmm. in the moon on the moon sorry yeah. um, but that failed again and india succeeded mm. so yeah. india became the first uh, country to land on the south pole of the moon mm. Mm. Uh, the reason why they did that was apparently they've uh, in a, in a previous um, uh, exploration craft that they had sent uh, which did not land i think mm. um they had discovered water in the south mm. pole or traces nice. of water if you say mm. and they just wanted to do a bit of uh, you know further exploration on that and that's mm. the, the mission so yeah that's mm. that's, that's why it is, is, it, so, is it mean, water water or ice like i think i i was also oh. reading like it's probably ice yeah, I, so, yeah. it's probably ice yeah, it's it, it's it mm. traces i remember mm. it as being traces of water so it could be ice right so ice is mm. like, it could be something yeah. Like, yeah i don't know not sure exactly what it is but i hope they find water Yeah, yeah. Uh, that will be interesting. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then, and like I, I also remember, like some months ago, maybe a year ago, was like the failed mission, was it? Like I remember there was this news about yeah, twenty uh... twenty, yeah, twenty twenty two, right? Yeah, I think I'm not. Uh, yeah, it's probably probably last year. Yeah, 
Yeah, Chandrayaan two. I'm um, just checking. Uh, yeah, I think it's uh two twenty nine. No, not twenty nineteen. Chandrayaan one was twenty nineteen. Mm. Uh, this was uh. Do they have mission duration? Oh no, Chandrayaan two is twenty nineteen. Yeah, yeah, twenty nineteen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it feels like time flies. Time flies. Yeah, I guess. It's COVID. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it felt like I had this news very recently, yeah. and then yeah, okay, not not recently then, yeah, <laughs> because it makes it makes sense. It's like they they can't launch one and then like go to, just go to the next one within one year. So yeah, yeah, it takes time to develop and you know yeah, yeah. figure out Find the mistake the that they did. Exactly. Yeah, mm-hmm. and all of that. But it's nice to see, like you know, I mean, and also like the cost cost factor. But I think mm. a lot of people are telling that. Again, like the the cost on on people is comparatively less in India yeah. as well. Like, and maybe the resources they find it in, maybe they have like uh, quite a lot of the resources that they need to build it also in house. Mm. So uh, maybe, but still, uh, still. So yeah, cheap. I mean the 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 yeah, quite. I mean like very cheap, right? Because yeah. compared to I think um uh the the NASA's mission, it's much cheaper. Mm. I'm I'm not. Sure about the exact figures. They're probably probably around two hundred, three hundred million. Mm. Uh, but it's much cheaper. So, um, the interesting thing is, so if they can, I mean, this this is the whole moon landing, right? So you mm. land on the moon. So, uh, now this whole there's this craze of launching things into orbit and you know satellites yeah. and all of that stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if they can figure out a way to make that <laughs> cheaper than say sex, they can probably compete. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, well, do that, but... <laughs> I was just gonna mention if they commercialize it, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna build a fortune because I mean yeah. if if their flights are cheaper and if they actually can mm. land on the moon, mm. they will probably yeah, yeah they probably have long term plans on this. They can do commercial yeah. flight, but like they still haven't sent people. Uh, uh, yeah. True, true, true. So sending, I mean sending sending a um uh, a drone. Yeah, it's for simpler uh, yeah. things. Uh, a drone rather than people is much easier, much cheaper. Yeah. There's so much less to consider. But so when you're sending yeah. people, you need to figure out you know, what yeah. they're gonna eat, what they're gonna breathe, what yeah. the backups gonna be like. You need to have like triple backups on everything and yeah, all of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Life so, systems are, are probably yeah. the most uh, like yeah, difficult things to set up because. The, the robot like can't die unless like yeah. <laughs> unless like it like depressurizes it just you know yeah, yeah. goes to yeah. it so you can design it so that the, you know it can it can uh, because humans have like there's an ideal pressure that they can work in right so it's different for uh, mm-hmm. robots you can you can engineer around uh, mm-hmm. you can engineer it so that it, it can be a different pressure and it's easier and cheaper to build so mm-hmm. you can't engineer humans to do that yeah. so uh, but yeah. But, but with this moon landing, we still haven't seen footage of the ship from the in on the moon, have we? Uh, the drone I've was... seen. Uh... No, no ship. Uh, no, no ship. Uh, it, probably the so so ideally the drone needs to go in and then turn back and take a picture of the ship. Ideally. Mm. Uh, so they'll probably send that through, I guess, uh, in the future. Hopefully, that's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because like when, when you see like they had like videos of the moon landing, but you can just see like like how do you say? It's an image that they use. Not, not mm-hmm. you can't exactly see the because you can't see the the ship landing from Earth anyway. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's also <laughs> in the dark side, so you can't uh, even if you have a telescope, probably you can't see like how better uh, how good it is. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you can't really. Uh, you can probably see it hitting. I oh, know you can't probably see that either. It's on the dark side, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. like because the moon faces uh, the same side. Uh, yeah, it doesn't, right? yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't do that. Mm. Cool. So that's that's an interesting news. Well, congratulations. Yeah. I hope everything goes well. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Hopefully, I know. We mm-hmm. we shit about India for other things. But yeah, <laughs> good on you guys. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, yeah, yeah. it's it's just India actually has much more resources than a lot of countries. They yeah. also have. Uh, it's just they have it in abundance. I feel even with that, like their politicians are not less corrupt. I believe. Uh, and. Probably okay. So the thing is, it's not corruption, right? Necessarily, politicians are corrupt everywhere. It doesn't have to yeah. be. I mean, they are corrupt yeah, in yeah, Germany, yeah. they are corrupt in the US, they are corrupt yeah, in India, yeah. China, yeah, yeah, everywhere, right? Yeah. So that's 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 a norm, I guess. Yeah. But I feel like India has a what do you call a will to yeah, yeah, be yeah. something in the world. 
and yeah. that's what's sort of driving them and mm. yeah and we can learn a lot from them we yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we don't have we just want to just chill out and yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's, yeah, that's true, not true, going true. to that, true, 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 true. that. <laughs> yeah but yeah i think that that's uh, like they 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 want to be at the forefront of everything as, as much as they can because like you, you can see like when it comes to world powers how the dynamics between us china russia india like the, these have changed over, quite a bit over the last uh, 50 years i would say and yeah. Uh, yeah i'm not sure where everything would go because things yeah. are always uh, very things are yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah let's 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 leave that for the next day yeah. so there yeah, are some new week. developing news that might uh, you know yeah. break this week let's let's yeah. discuss <laughs> regarding yeah, yeah. you know current world currency and all mm. that stuff yeah. Yeah. so let's 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 mm. keep our fingers crossed <laughs> yeah yeah okay then uh, i think we wanted to talk about yeah we had some good good news about apple uh, oh yeah good uh, yeah, relatively good news, <laughs> right so uh, i think we spoke about you know apple being um, mm. apple last week uh, and you know doing so many things uh, but negative uh, mm. but this week there is a glimmer of hope in apple mm. uh, because you know there's this whole uh a right to repair thing going on in california specifically mm-hmm. i'm not mm-hmm. sure it's a us thing or a california thing but yeah so yeah. apparently they have shown support for it mm-hmm. uh because i don't know they want to <laughs> <do this. laughs> yeah. so i mean the the the, the, the gist of it is right so, i mean uh, first thing everyone should know you know companies are not benevolent god they 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 just no. do it for themselves right they don't yeah. care about us right yeah. um why they did it is i think supporting repair for them they'll probably lose out a bit on hardware sales but yeah they are they are shifting to a model of um services rather than yeah. going after hardware mm-hmm. so anyway they are i mean they are sort of their focus is different so having people buy their buy their hardware uh mm-hmm. and being able to repair it themselves they can keep on selling more services to them right yeah, so that's yeah, that's how yeah. they are, that's how they uh feel like uh, that they're, they're looking at it rather mm. um and you know kind of makes sense i guess and plus mm. apple's network of you know they have they have like uh, they have probably the best uh, logistics network yeah a yeah. company can have right mm. um they can probably get those repair kits or whatever mm. uh, you know that stuff the, the logistics behind that arrange much mm. better than any other company and so yeah, they have yeah. a competitive advantage there mm-hmm. uh because they are sort of quite well vertically integrated yeah. um, so as opposed to a company like uh Samsung where their hardware is good but the software is provided by Google mm-hmm. and with Google that software company they don't really have too much to do with hardware so they're yeah. sort of disconnected mm-hmm. uh well you know these guys are sort of yeah. yeah yeah so but and I also think like they probably understood that it's quite inevitable that they can't escape the the sort of repair like like repair movement so yeah, not, yeah. Not, maybe they could have pushed the agenda in the US and kept it going mm. but i think rest of the world like especially eu and then also there's they they got a lot of uh, how do you say uh resistance from brazil and like some other countries mm. who have their yeah. who are very strong regulation like uh, regulations yeah. internally so yeah. uh, they probably thought okay we can't escape this maybe they mm-hmm. they were delaying it until they set up the in- infrastructure exactly yeah that's what, that's what that's what happens that's yeah. what happens right <laughs> there's like so they probably have like everything set up right now yeah but their their initial repair program wasn't the the most easiest thing to go through yeah yeah maybe they yeah. have uh, yeah they have they have, they have something separate now but hopefully oh, it gets better <laughs> Yeah, because like there's a, I was just reading, reading an, an article here. Like there are some people saying, like I think it was I fix it. The uh, CEO is saying mm-hmm. like Apple's endorsement is is like a big uh, push to the the movement because mm. when they're there, it's like it, it's like when Apple's on board, everyone else has to go. Yeah, everyone is like, oh shit, what is Apple doing, right? I mean, yeah, we need to yeah. do this. I mean, that's what that's what all the other phone manufacturers have been doing for the past few yeah. uh, years, right? Uh, mm. Since they launched the. iPhone in back in 2007 mm. so they've been following Apple to some extent not fully mm. Mm. right mm. Samsung f- fanboys please don't kill me yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, you need to <laughs> be uh, yeah mm-hmm. anyway uh, so i mean that they they do 
tend to set trends whether we like it or not mm. uh, yeah. but uh, you know it's it's good right i mean it's good that they're going that way so that uh, mm. you know uh, at least they'll it will be something positive for the consumer hopefully mm. And, mm. But, it, but is this like uh, just California? Is it? Uh, this uh, yeah, it's going to start in California. Yeah. So generally what happens is California is one of the biggest biggest markets, right? So what, mm. what happens is when it's, it's sort of established there, mm. It, mm. it doesn't really make sense uh, to have anything different uh, outside of California. So they'll just mm. you know, tend to sort of... Mm. Uh, have it across the say uh, yeah. United States. Probably it might differ, right? Be depending on um, a, a lot of factors, but you know, yeah, generally yeah. stuff like that's that's how it sort of starts, and then mm. it might become a federal law as well. I don't know. Yeah, they might yeah. push it towards the federal side, and you know, mm. it becomes law of the land for yeah. the US. Yeah, but I think US is generally like the 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 country which is. They have the most difficulty in passing new regulations usually. So when, uh, yeah. when when they have done it, that means that I mean it's 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 easier in other regions for them, mm. especially you. Like it's probably the the easiest region that they pass through like these customer uh, based laws. Like they yeah I mean yeah, yeah. I, they they probably have their own agendas as well. Of course. Yeah, but uh, yeah. but uh, they seem to they seem to at least pass more people friendly. Uh, uh, anti corporate um, yeah. yeah but then this is like also quite political in the us like they are sort of uh, lobbying and stuff uh, and then mm. yeah so it's 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 a tough uh, <laughs> tough uh, tough oh, for the people. the worst i mean the 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 okay there could be as i'm just thinking about it i'm like um when you know there's like lobbying and stuff so maybe <laughs> i don't know whether they Apple did okay, so it could be something like this. Mm-hmm. So Apple Apple knows that the uh, law is not gonna go through, mm-hmm. right? And it's not gonna be, you know, right ah. to and, and they're like, okay, we need to be the good guys here, just you know, switch sides at the last one. Yeah. I don't know. You know, things like that yeah. happen. So. But yeah, let's yeah, see, yeah. let's so, hope that's what is <laughs> not the case. <laughs> so it's like the, the PR is on positive and their money is on the opposite side. Yeah. That's 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 uh, can be the case. Can be the case. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we can uh, beat that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's, what's the time? Okay, I need to figure this out. Yeah. Okay, I'll see. Uh, but uh, okay, then uh, uh, moving on. Uh, you did you have another topic? Uh, uh no, I think you there was a USB C thing, right? Yes, yes, yes. Continuing yeah. from Apple topics. Uh. Uh, we uh, I mean, again, it's it's based on EU regulations. They like all almost all the phones in the, and some appliances in the region. They have to change their charging to USB C, and Apple has to follow suit. And I think they they are changing their upcoming phones to match these requirements. But then one of the news articles said what it said was that Apple will again that their lightning port uh is. Yeah. For like based on the USB two specifications, so the transfer mm. speeds are quite low, yeah. four hundred eighty MB uh, per second, I think, mm, uh, yeah. and uh, that's a very very old uh, USB technology based on standards now. Uh, yeah. So the news, but the news is saying that they will have the USB C port on their new phones, uh, iPhone fifteen maybe, and then uh, but the base model of the phone will only have USB two speeds. While the pro models oh. will have uh, the regular the features. full uh, okay the pro yeah. features the pro features which so uh, I I already know I I I already know what I'm buying this year so, yeah <laughs> uh, but yeah we'll see so um that's interesting though uh so I I I mean I think the news sort of generated from this rumor because there were two cables that were released right mm. um but leaked not released leaked. Yeah. Um. Uh, so the one cable, like you said, was um, uh, like the slower speeds, the USB two point one speeds, right? Mm. Um, and uh, all of that, right? Uh, doesn't support fast charging, all that. So that's the that's what they what they what they mentioned was it's a cable that's going to be shipped with the fo- mm. iPhone, mm. right? Mm. Uh, and you know it, it it sort of limited by the cable. So I mm. don't know whether it's actually be limited on the phone itself. Which mm. I hope is not the case, and it's just a cable that's limited. 
uh, because there was another cable that was released as a pro cable which had you know all this uh, full support mm. of um, mm. all you know the maximum speed plus uh, you know there's like power delivery charging and all of that stuff right um uh so i it could be just the cable that they're shipping out is a bit inferior in uh-huh. the normal one uh, and maybe the port is still the same hoping for the best <laughs> hoping for the best because it, uh... because i i because current even current uh, iPhones they do mm. uh, char, char, I mean, that you can't really say it's not like super uh, super fast charging but they do support some sort of a fast charge right like for yeah, yeah, yeah. maximum right? yes but but this yeah. like again like uh, you know apple how apple do their marketing it they be like you know for the pro models we are giving uh, extra speed this time you know uh, because the, speed. <laughs> yeah because they they're not changing anything technically yeah. on the base yeah. model so the speed yeah. is the same yeah. but yeah. for the pro models you are getting extra speed so that's that's how they phrase mm-hmm. it it's not that yeah yeah. Let's see. Let's see what they do. Let's see what they do. Apple. Apple is a marketing. Yeah. Uh, powerhouse. So let's see. I mean. And you can always do. see like how they do their marketing, like their their comparisons, their presentations. They're always mm. kind of uh, they use the nicest metrics that that works yeah. best for exactly. them. Exactly. Rather and than the. the... <laughs> and dude, they don't. I mean, that's that annoys me, right? As a as a guy who works in data analysis, uh, they don't mark their. Like axes, x axes okay, and yeah, y axes. Yeah. I'm like, what the hell, dude? What are you trying to show here? It's just like power. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Power goes. You know, up. like what does that mean? Like making graphs is a skill, and like you, <laughs> like they're just using that uh, to kind of. Uh... It's it's dude. It should. I mean, it's sort of. It's just graph. You just graph it properly. I mean, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah. you can't probably do that because you know it's. Uh, 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 to be fair, Apple is not the only one who does it, right? So yeah. people have been manipulating graphs for uh, for the longest yeah. period, <laughs> yeah. Don't, but yeah, but uh, you know, just something to yeah, yeah complain yeah. about. Like because I remember, like I remember this. I can't remember the exact uh, where I saw it. Like when you make like bar bar charts and everything, mm. like you should you don't have to start from zero, right? Like that's, that's uh, uh, you know, <laughs> that's, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so you just you just you just you know scale it up to the very top. To say okay, it's you you exaggerate it, but yeah, it's only yeah. like a few units that have increased. But uh, <laughs> that's the yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I just remember that when you said that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I I can see where it ha- where where it's happening, but you know, regular people can't be bothered. Right? They're mm-hmm. like, oh my god, what a growth, and you know, mm-hmm. go on about it. But yeah, let's. But do you think? But do you think they would like give like normal speeds? In a couple of years, or would they still try to keep it? Ah, uh... uh, no. I mean, it's like this, right? So they're gonna have to give it because, uh, anyway, phone sales are sort of going down, mm-hmm. uh, as we discussed last week. So, mm-hmm. uh, you know, with all of this right to repair, all of that stuff coming in, people are gonna be buying um less and less phones. F- Mm. Uh, in the future and they are going to need to incentivize people to buy new phones so yeah. they'll probably need to add sort of, sort of trickle down some features from pro models into the mm-hmm. uh, base model um, so that there is some some incentive when the new phone releases mm. to buy it so they, yeah. I, I'm, they might even do I, I don't know that this, this will happen so they've been following an yearly release cycle right they might not Change. they might skip a cycle mm-hmm. and do like two year releases I don't mm-hmm. know that's possible so, but uh, yeah, I mean, like, if if it makes sense for them, they, they if they are how do you say like if they're setting up a, a service like focused, you know, they they make income through parts, you know, uh, uh, by pairing. Uh, if they can actually get them, they will definitely change the cycle. I think because it yeah. doesn't make sense for them to have both sides running, you know, a yearly uh, product cycle and then also service running. Because if you are giving parts, that means your products will stay for longer time. Exactly. And- People exactly. won't need new new exactly. items. Uh, right. So you so, learn off the services, yeah. So depending on how these uh, right repair moves go, but then I think it it is going in that direction. It will maybe take longer, but I I think it will change generally from at least push from parts like in the I mean, the world like EU maybe there is a powerful push compared to how what's happening in the US. So even in yeah. these regions, it can go, and then they they will have to move into the service kind of focus. Uh, uh, sales compared to product individual product sales. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Enough bashing Apple today. What's yeah. yeah. What's next? <laughs> uh, Apple, Apple gets bashing uh, in most of our videos. Still, uh, <laughs> <laughs> although we we like Apple products, we don't hate them. Yeah. Like, yeah, Apple, we do. We like use Apple products. products right? You you have yeah. a, you're on a Mac right now. I have an iPhone. Yeah. I am yeah. AirPods, all that. Yeah. yeah. So it is there's, there's no personal hate uh, towards Apple <laughs> products, uh, but Apple as a company has a bit of um, yeah. uh, fishy uh, practices. Practices. I mean, all companies do, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apple is a bigger target. That's my yeah, yeah, bigger billions, yeah, yeah. trillion, trillions actually. Yeah, mm. <laughs> it's pro- it's the biggest. Uh, it's the biggest still company. Is, is, yeah, right? is it still? Yeah. I don't know if it changed, but I it was the first to reach a trillion dollar valuation. Yeah, uh, but dude, Can you check? Yeah. trillion dollars, man. Damn. Yeah, can't even think about that. <laughs> uh, highest market cap, right? Market cap, yeah, companies. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, I see. Apple is still number one. Yeah. They're valued at $2.7 trillion. <laughs> Next yeah. is Microsoft with $2.3 trillion. $2. Yeah, $2.4 trillion. Mm. Uh, after that, guess guess the company. I I, I, I dare you won't, you won't guess it. Uh, so Apple, uh, Apple is number one. Microsoft uh, number two. Number three. Uh, it, Amazon. Not, okay. It, it's not a tech company. It's not a tech company. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Mm. And it's and it's not in the US, so it's too close. I can't give you more closer than <laughs> <it's deadly. laughs> Not in the US. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Something that we know, right? For sure. Um, you might Maybe know not. it. You might have heard about. It. I, I did we speak about it in the? I'm not sure. I think probably did. I don't know. Uh, uh, I uh, might uh, have mentioned it a few times because uh, I watched a bit um, of fun. Is it a manufacturing company? No. 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 Um, service? So they, they, were, yeah. they were, so when they when they were going for the IPO, they were slated to be the largest valued company ever. But the IPO got delayed and, you know, something happened. And I, I, there's something story like that. I can't remember. There's something other company, but I think I it think was this I, one. I think I remember the story, but I can't remember the company. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll I'll give you another clue. It's it's uh, <laughs> related to it's an oil company. Ah, uh, what is it? Uh, is it Exxon? No, no, not Exxon. Uh, uh, oil. There are few oil companies. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm I'm I'm, I'm, t- no. I'm done teasing. So it's no. Saudi Aram Aramco. Aramco. Uh, mm. The nationalized. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's a nationalized company, right? Yeah, nationalized mm. um Saudi company. Yeah, I would I wouldn't have guessed that. No. Yeah. Like I, <laughs> no, no. Uh, I was I was thinking oil company, but no. The most common ones are like Shell, Exxon. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All, of, all of those cases, right? Yeah. Uh, but BP. oil companies, how long do you think you know this this will go like before we get onto the next topic? Like let's just ah. talk about like uh, uh how do you say uh, fuel-based economy and uh, I don't know. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so oil oil companies aren't dead yet. They're not gonna die. No, 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 no. Uh, they're fighting back, right? Yeah. Uh, so how they're fighting back is, mm. um, in a few ways, right? Uh, mm. so one thing they're trashing like they're not trashing electricity. They they pretend that they are going renewable and all of that. They want to mm. do that because they don't want people. They don't want people against them, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so they're they're covering that base. So mm. you know, Shell has all the solar powered, uh, not solar powered. Yeah. So Shell, I think in Germany they have like charging stations in all of their mm. filling stations, so that you know electric cars can come. So they're playing yeah. there, you know, good yeah. play there. Uh, yeah. Okay. I think it was Shell. It, it could have been some other company, but just yeah, just yeah. Uh, that's yeah. It, maybe that. So they're doing all of that, but um. Meanwhile, they are sort of getting companies to sort of innovate in making more efficient uh, ice engines. Mm. Okay, so ice, internal combustion engines. Um, so Porsche is one. Uh, and they're trying out different fuels as well, right? So they're mm. like uh, what you call like synthetic fuels. 
mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. that angle synthetic fuel so uh, apparently that that sort of synthetic fuel is going to come into f1 racing as well next mm-hmm. i'm not sure next 2026 sorry i think 2026 yeah. it, they're going to introduce that and you know they're going to test that out and see how it how feasible it is mm-hmm. um uh, and other hydrogen based fuel because hydrogen tends to be a by product of you know oil drilling and all of that so they can mm-hmm. get hydrogen from yeah. there because it's very wasteful to create hydrogen from water it, it requires mm-hmm. too much energy to sort of because you put in like two units of energy you only get back like 1.5 okay uh, mm-hmm. something like that it's quite inefficient so uh, i mean yeah they 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 are playing that game they are still yeah. to, and you know saying that uh, mining batteries is uh, detrimental to the environment and all of that right so yeah. uh, i think so, from mm. yeah sorry lanka you can say something no no no, 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 no. so my my um, my take on this is uh, electric cars won't solve the problem right because mm. uh, the problem is not the car itself it's the consumption that we have right so mm. it's we need to solve the consumption issue it's it's not a matter of what it runs on so if you if it runs on the most clean renewable thing it will still be the consumption issue because you are going to have to support give people a lot of that if they are using if you are using so we need to transition from uh using personal transport for everything mm. to sort of going going into the direction of public transport so oh, that it's more uh, scalable right so it 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 has economies of scale it's it's more efficient that way mm. right mm. Uh, and you know have you need you need personal transport for certain things like going on trips and certain other things right so we can figure a way out for that i think we spoke about mm. that last week as well with the whole mm. um uh, transport model where you sort of rent a car and yeah, all of that yeah. right you can so maybe you can use public transport to go to a city and if you want to rent a car you can get a ev or something just to go around mm. that city like a small yeah. car or something like that but yeah i mean you can do that mm. it's, it's just the car companies that way they can't really sell cars in the billions that yeah. so that they have an incentive to not do that <laughs> and just uh, keep selling us cars for yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's just a system is made that way right now and it's very difficult to change it because too many components are connected like the like the vehicle industry the oil industry yeah they are already they used to getting money in a certain way and for yeah. them it's very difficult to change and like what i was trying to understand is like the oil companies as you said they are trying to extend as much as they can their life length right? because they <laughs> probably know that the oil is not unlimited so yes. they they might have hit like probably in some places they might have hit like uh, like end of resources right like maybe some uh so or... it's like this so there are resources it's just that it it just keeps getting harder and harder to mine which drives up the cost which is mm. not consumer friendly so that's what mm. happens yeah right uh so there's uh, there's still a lot of uh, a lot of oil in in the northern mm. north northern area north yeah, yeah. Mm. not not north pole but you know somewhere around that area yeah, yeah. but it, that ice, yeah. that oil is very hard to get to yeah uh, so and you know it's just a whole new thing Yeah, yeah so if it's un- how to say it in, they they can't sell it even if they because the cost the high if they have to sell it the cost will be much higher for the fuel uh, and yeah. compared to how it is right now that's the uh, thing yeah 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 so yeah i think uh, yeah we have like 6 minutes left i guess yeah yeah maybe we should mm, so i don't know whether we can get into a new topic but uh, uh, probably not maybe maybe probably not small. probably not yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> like i maybe i something something really i can't remember what it was uh, because norway i just I was thinking norway is one mm-hmm. of the countries which uh, which has one of the biggest oil deposits that they are they are a rich country because they have oil norway and mm-hmm. that's a famous uh, fact but they also recently found was it lithium i'm not sure uh, no that was that was sweden No, 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 not Sweden. No, no, uh, no. Norway, 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 Norway. Norway. Oh, I thought Sweden had one of the. So I think they have one of the largest. Oh no, sorry, so that is copper. I'm sorry. They have the largest copper mine in Europe. Or yeah, yeah. Like you know, Sweden also found a very large mine in in the mm. northern part of the country, mm. uh, but they didn't define. They, it's like it has a lot of the rare minerals. Uh, like it, it said, they, it has a lot, but they didn't exactly specify what. But uh, in okay. Norway. uh they found i think uh, was it what is it phosphate sorry phosphate uh, uh 70 70 
70 billion tons of phosphate is what they are saying. So it's like the biggest uh, ever mine uh, like uh, of phosphate. Like so, this is uh, I think for phosphate for is for like mainly for mineral uh, fertilizer, right? If I'm not mistaken, fertilizer and then I think uh, also like uh, power cells. They use it, I think. They do. It? Oh, okay. These new deposits on in Scandinavia could help key supply global demand for batteries and solar panels up to oh. 50 years. Ah, probably. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't know phosphate was using uh, mm. batteries. Uh, once mined, the ore can be processed into phosphoric acid and supply broad range of uses, including lithium ion phosphate batteries and animal feed. So, uh, ah, yeah. um, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, so it, it, it's also people are like they're lucky and they're lucky again, you know. It's like we're like, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, like, yeah. no, yeah, we should be, maybe move to Norway. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> language is not that different, you know. It's uh, it's not, yeah, uh, even if you uh, uh, if you have learned, it's, it's it's quite it's a bit, different, yeah, but it's not, it's that a bit different, different but yeah, so yeah. it goes from Sverige to Norway, yeah, <laughs> Norway, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. good 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 <laughs> um yeah so uh, maybe with that note we can uh we can start to sing up this episode uh for the day today podcast uh uh so uh yeah we went through a few topics today and it's as usual it's always fun to uh talk about this stuff and maybe share our opinions whether they're true or not whether, uh, whether yeah. they, they or not. these are our opinions <laughs> right so yeah yeah that this has none of the things that we have mentioned have been fact checked so uh I, yeah. uh you can take it uh, you did a bit of fact checking but not 100 yeah yeah, 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 some, like some, some, yeah, yeah some of some, some of the opinions are not factual but like we've been yeah. reading from pages on on yeah. on websites and some details some of the dates and stuff are on weeks yeah so yeah. some of them are yes but uh don't quote us on uh, uh certain things which are not listen good. and enjoy so, listen and enjoy <laughs> listen and enjoy yeah, yeah? Uh, then uh thank you very much for listening to us today uh something anything uh, to close uh yeah. No, I think we're good. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, hope to take this. Uh, you know, we did a we did like six or seven episodes in the last season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. five. Yeah, five or six, I think. Yeah. Five, five or six. Yeah. yeah. So let's see. Let's see if we can at least reach that goal and then maybe take it to the next level and see yeah, if we yeah. can do like ten or so episodes. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our first season actually had twelve episodes, so we. Uh... Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So we'll we'll uh, we'll try to keep uh, our highest record and go go for more. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Let's do that. Awesome. Yeah. Then uh, thank you again, and uh, catch you guys next week. Uh, hope you enjoyed our episode, and hope you stay with us and listen to our fun uh, rants about different topics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See you guys. Have a good one. See you. Take care.